Shalom, this is Brother Matazal. I'm to do a quick lesson on uh, Love Not the World. Before I open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. The honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Alright, I'm just going to jump right into the lesson. Uh, this is our uh, first John. 2 and 15. He says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. And you know, I was just sitting and meditating on that. You know, um, you're not supposed to love this world because this world is a big distraction, full of uh, full of distractions and vanity. You know, and that's why our people are walking around here all asleep and docile because of the distractions. Of this uh this world man it's all types of uh craziness and wickedness going on man you know and he said uh he says if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him right and the reason why is because they too distracted man you know and, and uh what happened is that's that's why how we uh ended up going into captivity it's because our people have been distracted in this world for a long time with these heathens, man. You know, we have been walking around uh, um, in a docile state of mind, serving uh, false gods, worshiping false gods and, and idols, idolatry worship, basically. You know, that's why the Heavenly Father said, love not this world, because this world going to keep you away from him. It'll keep you keep your mind. Uh, um, that's 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 what our people right now. They are far away from the Heavenly Father, man, because they too distracted. They they too plugged into the matrix, man. You know that's why the Lord got us out here in the highways and the byways. You know, sounding an alarm, blowing the trumpet, to to get them out of that zombie state that they're in. They're in a, a zombie state of mind right now. You know, that's our state of mind, man. Falling behind the, their father. Uh, Esau, you know, this is a uh, Isaiah. In fact, you know what? Let me get this one first. This is uh, James four, and I think it's verse four. Yeah, it is. This is a uh, James. Four and four. He says, "Ye adulterous and adulteries." It's like you, you adulterous and adulteress. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? And you know, it's meaning basically is opposite of the, the Heavenly Father. The friendship of this world is opposite of the Heavenly Father. Instead of walking, you know, toward the Heavenly Father, you walking along with the world in the opposite direction. You know. You're walking further and further away from salvation. And that's going to get you destroyed, you know. He said, um, whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is imminent, is the enemy of the Most High. So if you uh, being a friend of this world, basically walking around, you know, staying docile, you know, and doing the things of this world, worshiping um, idols, you're, you're an enemy of the Heavenly Father, man. Cause you're going the wrong way, and these this is to the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This goes for you. You are the Israelites, the twelve that make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You know, we're not supposed to be doing what these heathens are doing, man. We're not supposed to be keeping their customs. We're not supposed to be uh, um, uh, worshiping their gods. We're not supposed to be doing the things that heathens do. The heathens don't have the law, statutes, and commandments. The law, statutes, law, statutes, and commandments was given to us to separate us from the rest of this wicked ass world, man. You're supposed to be separated from this world, this 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 wicked place, man. You are the uh, the whole the holy people. You are the holy people of the Most High, truth, the true Most High, the true living power, Yahweh. But you people are out here docile and, and worshiping all these different gods like Jesus. That's a false god, man. 
I uh, uh, who else? Buddha, Allah. The list goes on. You know, some people even worshiping uh, women. You got women worshippers out here. You got uh, uh, people who worship themselves, man. It's all types of uh, uh, idolatry out here in this wicked place, and that's where you people are. You you're contrary to the Heavenly Father, man. I'm going to read that last part again. He said, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the, em the enemy, the enemy of the most high. So you are you walking around here all docile thinking you got it because you got a good job. You know what I'm saying? That's going to get you a, a um, nice home or a nice car or a good husband or a good wife or whatever. Man. You, you, you sleep, man, because that's, I mean, it's okay to have those things, you know what I'm saying, but, you know what I'm saying, the focus is to get closer to the most high, you're walking in the wrong direction, uh, let me grab this real quick, um, I think it's in, um, uh, It is in James. This is right above this locket. This is uh, James 4 and 3. It says, Draw nigh to the Most High. And he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So, basically, um, you know, you got to draw closer to the Most High, man. You got to walk, you know, saying according to this word, man. You know, and the problem is a lot of these people that go to these churches, that attend these churches, the pastors in these wicked harlot houses, they're not teaching you correctly. They're not showing you the right the right things to do. They're not showing you the right way. They're not breaking the scriptures down uh, correctly so that you can have a complete understanding, you know what I'm saying, on what to do. That's why the Lord got the real men of the Lord out here, you know, breaking these scriptures down right and showing to, to show you the right things to do so it won't be no excuse, man. You know, the scriptures say it's high time to wake up out of the sleep. Wake up out of sleep, man. You people are in a deep sleep right now. And right now it's time it's the time to wake up out of the sleep and return back to the heavenly father this is the time to wake up now because the lord is on his way man the heavenly father is near man he's near than what you think but here it is you further and further away from him you know because you're being contrary to him you've been an enemy of the heavenly father instead of drawing nigh to him he said to draw nigh to the most high and he will draw it's like you to draw nigh to the most yeah to, to draw nigh to the most high and he will draw nigh to you cleanse your hands ye sinners cleanse your hands meaning repent you know you gotta run hey what well, we out here teaching we teaching this fire coming man that's fire and brimstone coming man nuclear thermal fire is coming you know this is the time to, to cleanse your hands man to repent to the heavenly father man you know get in order get in the right way you know, come up out of the wrong way. He said, uh, cleanse, cleanse your hands, ye, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. Purify your hearts, man. You know, get your mind off this wicked shit out here, man. Stop being wicked. You know, think, of the, think, think on the scriptures. Think on how to be better. To become a better man or a better woman of the most high. Stop being wicked. Purify your hearts, your minds. Get your mind right, basically. Get your mind right, because your, your mind is in the wrong damn place, like my big brother I now say. Get your mind right. He said, uh, he says, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Because you people are double-minded, man. You, you you get the most high, uh, 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 much lip service, you know what I'm saying, with them vain words that you speak, saying that you love the Heavenly Father. Saying that you love God, you love Jesus, you know, but you don't, man. You people don't love the Most High, man. Your minds are far from Him. You don't, you don't think on the things of the Lord. You're just thinking on how to, you know, uh, uh, please yourselves, man. 
you know, instead of pleasing the most high. That's what that's what what's got us in this in this predicament we in right now, man. Slavery. That's what's got us up under the so-called white man. That's what got him on top right now. Because of our hard-headed, a hard netted, a hard head and stiff necks. You know? You Israel don't, you know, they still ain't listening, man. But that's okay, you know. Hey, we out here doing the work, and it's only for the elect anyway. You know, we out here, you know, fishing for the elect. And that's the whole point and bottom line, man. With that, let me give all praises and glory and honor to you. How about Shemi I was shy? Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that out here ruling well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out here that's teaching this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Barak, Thumb, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Uh, uh,